Greetings, beautiful ones. How you doing? Good, good. All right. I am jumping on to talk to you about the solar eclipse and the new moon in Libra, which is happening October the 2nd. So you may be seeing this on the 2nd, which is my birthday. However, the solar eclipse is happening. Now, new moons usually bring in new energy. This moon is no different, but the solar eclipse is adding a different shift. This solar eclipse is bringing in major shifts, especially in the life of the Libras. The Libras will be Libraing, not just because it's our season, but because this energy will hit us a little bit differently. This will be a time where you will start to feel the need to eliminate things that are not working. Relationships, people, clothing. You may even rebrand your business. You may change your style. It may not just happen for just the Libras. It's not just going to happen for us. It's going to happen for everyone, this energy. However, it will affect us as Libras a little bit deeper. I've been seeing everybody talk about Libras and saying that Libras are sneaky and etc. I just want to clear that up really quick. We are not sneaky. It's just that we're nice and we like to keep the balance in things, right? We want everything to be fair and just. But when we get tired of the BS and we call you out on it, you say we're sneaky or you say we're mean. But that's not the case. The case is that we like to harness our energy we like to harness our energy and we like to we like to do things that are productive and drama and arguing and all that is not productive for us however during the season you may find that there may be a libra in your life that has something to tell you and is very eager to tell you about it right we're seeing that even in you know social media on some social medias with some Libras. We see that they are really speaking their truth and what they feel to be their truth. This solar eclipse is going to be like magic for unveiling things. It's going to show you exactly what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing it. And it's going to be such a powerful time in the life of Libras that you are going to be just like, I should have did this a long time ago. But you have to remember, everything has a time. With the new moon, you can set new intentions. This is a great time to do that. Anytime there's a new moon, it's a great time to set new intentions. But be mindful of what you're calling in, especially if you have any especially if you have any Libra placements. So this is a powerful time for manifestation if you have any Libra placements. So be mindful of what you're saying, what you're eliminating, and what you're calling in. This isn't a time to be shy, though, about what it is that you want. This isn't a time to be wishy-washy about the things that you may need to eliminate. Because after this solar eclipse, you'll find yourself evolving in a different direction. And not only will you be evolving, you'll be evolving very quickly. Again, this is a time to reevaluate things in your life and uh, figure out, do I still want to do this or don't I? And also, lastly but not leastly, don't feel as if you have to consult somebody about the changes that you want to make. And don't feel like you owe an explanation for the changes that you want to make or the things that you decide to do or the truth that you decide to speak. We want to let go of this blocked throat chakra that a lot of us have. A lot of us got a lot of blocked throat chakra. We got a lot of heavy duty energy up in here from not speaking our truth. But you know what? This solar eclipse is gonna pull it right out you. All right, y'all. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.